Hey guys, it's your girl Findable Curls. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing goddess box braids, but on my natural hair. I'm not adding weaves, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. Because, well, my friend sent me this TikTok of another girl doing it, and I don't even remember what TikTok it was, but I will link the TikTok in the description box. But she sent me that and was like, you should try this. So that's what I'm doing today. But before I jump into it, um, you know, there's that big red subscribe button at the bottom, there's a like button, there's the bell notification button. So now that I've told you about those buttons, I'ma just sit back and let you get situated, do what you need to do with those, and I'll wait for you. I'll wait, we got time. No, we don't. <coughs> Not me dying. Let's get into it. So, products I'm using today, this is what I use for my leave-in, this Pantene Leave-In Detangling Milk. And, you know, I didn't use it to actually detangle my hair because I detangle my hair when I'm de deep conditioning, but I did use this as a leave-in. And I must say it's pretty moisturizing, but it's kind of on the thinner side. So I don't know how it would turn out if I were to use this to comb out my hair. But as far as like moisturization goes, it's, it's pretty decent. So I'm not complaining. And it also smells really good. It smells like watery kinda. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells good. So today I am using Aunt Jackie's. Let me show y'all up close. This is the Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. And this is the Ice Curls Glossy Curling Jelly. This is grapeseed style and shine recipes. Enriched with shea butter and olive oil, and this is enriched with almond oil and marshmallow, marshmallow root. <laughs> Here's the jelly. Let me show y'all up close. The curl custard says, say goodbye to frizz, unruly curls and lifeless coils, define shape and control curls, waves, coils, and braid outs while adding moisture, shine, and natural conditioning. And the jelly says, definition, elongation, and sensational shine. Treat your curls, waves, twists, or locks to this intensive moisture remedy infused with hydrating grapeseed and almond oils and marshmallow root for softness, superior hydration, and manageability. I'm not using any of these products for a braid out or twist out or none of that. I'm actually using it to just do plaits in my hair. But we, we just gonna see how this turns out. You know, normally I use like shine and jam and just leave in, but I want my hair to be moisturized and all nice and curly. And also I gotta leave curls out. So I also gotta use, this is what the gel is for, so I can define the curls, the whatever curls I leave out. So I'm gonna put all this hair up. My hair is pre-parted. I parted it like right when I got out the shower and applied the leave in, just so it would speed stuff along. So I'm gonna put the rest of my hair up except for the very bottom row. This is the back row. And yeah, my hair is all the way parted, even the front. And normally y'all would see me oiling my scalp, but I'm actually gonna wait to the end to do that when my parts are all defined and everything, just cause it's easier that way. And I also gotta apply mousse, so. Yeah, y'all just go trust the process, okay? Trust. Actually, let me comb this part out first. And now I'm gonna take the curling jelly. Look at this, look at this. She thick, she real thick. Okay. I'm gonna take just a little bit and apply it on the root. This smells interesting. I'm gonna have to try out these products on like a washing or something another time but i just wanted to use these for this style in particular i don't know why but something just told me to use these so that's what i'm doing i'm taking the curling jelly i mean not the curling jelly the curl custard just a little bit and i'm gonna apply it to this and then i'm gonna start plaiting now, I've actually already done plaits on my channel. I have a video and I'll tag it at the top, but it's different this time because I'm actually going to leave strands of hair out and then curl them. But if you want to learn how to plait, then I suggest watching the video that's already up. But I didn't add a lot of curl custard just because I want my hair to be elongated. 
and I low key want it to stay like dry, like how it is now, because then the more stretched it is. And now I'm going to leave a strand out. How am I going to do that? I don't know. Trust the process. Okay, so this braid is done. And now I'm going to take the curling jelly and just do that. And voila. So I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing and y'all just get to watch.
so I am done with the back and this is what it looks like and honestly y'all I just feel like this is gonna be bomb like it already looks good and not even done with the front like I haven't even started on the front actually so yeah we're just gonna have to finish this out and then I'm gonna put some mousse on it and then I'm gonna go to the hair store and buy me some jewelry and then that's gonna be the finished look that's gonna be all she wrote So basically what I've been doing is I leave one to three strands out and then I'll make sure that my plait is tight so that when I do leave hair out, it's not all like loose or whatever and weird looking. So I just make sure to plait very tightly. And then when I leave the strand out, I just make sure like there's no like flyaways or anything like that. And I just make sure like it's a clean, strand of hair if that makes sense <laughs> and i'm also leaving these two little curls out on the sides i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and yeah So I am finished and this looks gorgeous. Like I was not expecting it to come out this well. Like I knew I had confidence that it was gonna come out good, but not like this good. Like, dang, I'm excited to wear this out. But let me apply some more gel and some spots I've left out. And yeah. So another key tip is to make sure that the um, pieces that you leave out aren't too big because then the gel isn't going to define them as well as it would if the pieces were smaller. So yeah, that's another tip. But let me go grab my mousse. Actually, I'm actually going to oil my scalp first before I forget.
Okay, now I'm gonna get my mousse. And then the mousse is just gonna put it all together, y'all. This mousse right here that I can get from literally anywhere, like Walmart, beauty supply store, it doesn't matter. It's probably gonna be in there. And I'm shaking it up real good. And this is just meant to set it and lay it flat. And I'm gonna use a lot of heads up. Oops. This is my favorite part. Look at that. Look how the mousse is just laying it, bro. This is why I love this part because the mousse just puts it all together. And it just makes a huge difference, honestly. Honestly, if you wanted to, you could use mousse to define your curls just in general, but a lot of people use gel, but you can use mousse. Like it's, it's definitely, it definitely works, honestly. And it just sets them in place. And I'm gonna add one more, one more. Okay, now I'm going to tie this up and then I'm gonna lay my edges and then I'm gonna go to the hair store and buy some jewelry and put that in my hair. And then I'm come back to y'all when all that is done and show y'all the final, final look and give y'all a review on these products that I used. And I will see y'all in the next clip. Hey y'all, so I'm back and it's actually two days later, but hey, better than never. <laughs> but this is the final look. I put the jewelry in and I actually had to refresh like the curls that I left out because this Aunt Jackie's gel just didn't have a strong enough hold to keep my hair from getting frizzy. So I just went back in with the wet line, the old faithful. And I refreshed my curls and added a little bit more mousse, just a little bit. And this is the final product. I think this came out super cute, honestly. And, you know, this Aunt Jackie's. My hair feels moisturized along with the Pantene leave-in that I used. The the combination, like my hair looks moisturized. It looks good. Like, yeah, like this came out really cute. I would love to do this again. Like, and it didn't really take too long. Like, I think the parting itself took me about 30 to 45 minutes. I don't know. I don't even remember. And then this style in itself, I think it took like an hour and a half maybe but yeah so this is it i really hope y'all like this if you do let me know in the comments and maybe even try this style out for yourself if you like this video i'm not gonna force you to subscribe or like anything but just know those buttons i told you about earlier are there and that when you use those buttons it's just supporting me so just keep that in mind when deciding if you want to take the time to like and subscribe and all that good stuff <laughs> Y'all know protocol on YouTube. It's a matter of if you just want to follow it or not. But if you have any questions, compliments, concerns, anything like that, just leave it down in the comments and I'll answer for you. But that is it. Um, remember to never stop growing and I will see you on the next video. Bye.